Okay, I thought, I thought the new patch was today, but I guess it's not because I don't only have four bans. Either way, I ban Amuzenkab so that we don't fight him again. But if we have to fight Vulcan or Anubis, we're in for a bad time. All right, let's see. All right, we're against Bastet, and we have little to no mobility against her. We have my, my one, but that's not even close to enough mobility against Bastet. Um, since Bastet has a lot of bleed damage, I'm going to go Warrior's Blessing. And I could go into Bancroft or into Defense. I think I'll go into Bancroft for the Power Spike. I would love to get a Sprint, but it's not even that good against Bastet's cats anymore. So... Maybe a blink just to chase her over walls and stuff when she's at 1 HP. Yeah, Sprint used to give 40% mobility and slow immunity. Now it only gives 20% and slow immunity. So unless you have boots, you actually can't outrun the cats even with Sprint. It's kind of dumb. So Sprint second relic could be good. But first relic, you know, it's not going to help us until later on. I have no idea where she is. Also, level up my 2 does a little bit more damage. Although my 3 has the heal. So, back, he's alright. He's, he's fun. Oops. I guess I hit something on my table. So, it's alright. He's fun. Okay, she went double chalice into darting boots. Okay. I mean, I've seen stranger starts. That's actually not a horrible start if I think about it. Only thing is that she doesn't have that much sustain. Her leaps down, she can't clear this wave that fast. I might try and poke her out, honestly. Like, try and hit my abilities on her. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, though. Like, I don't have quite as much sustain as her, so I'm going to use my auto attacks here. The only sustain I really have is Warrior's Blessing. Maybe I should have went Mage's Blessing or Specialist. Specialist could be good on Sobek. I gotta try Specialist Blessing on Sobek. It's probably even... that. It's, like, probably as good as it is on Fafnir. Alright, she's in bad position. She does have Bracer. Luckily, my 3 has Anti-Heal, so she actually didn't heal that much there. Uh... Oh, best at cats... Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I'd rather fight an AMC. I know you guys have fought a bunch of AMCs, but... Yeah, fighting Bastet as a Guardian sucks. Even if I had sprint there, I still would have died. Because the cat still would have hit me just as much. I just would have been able to get farther into my tower. Which wouldn't have helped any, you know? Bracer might have helped. It just sucks fighting Bastet ever since the sprint nerfs. Luckily, she's not that popular of a god. I can always try and counter ult, but my ult takes time to charge, you know? Uh, how did she walk out of that? Oh, because she has full boots. Oh, my God. She went boots first, man. With double chalice. I don't like this best deck. This double chalice build. Hey, it's, you know what? No, not, I do like it. It's way better than Warrior's Blessing Blackthorn start. At least it's not scummy. Best deck's just hard to deal with. I have no idea when her ult comes up, but I don't have the movement speed to chase her. That's a pretty strong start now that I'm thinking about it. You have boots before your opponent for way longer, and, you know, boots give 40 power. The bad thing about starting boots is usually you have no sustain, but since it's double chalice, you don't need to worry about sustain. She won't be able to buy wards, though. I'm going to save my one for running away from her alt. So I actually can't use it like ever. Which really sucks. 
Okay, she has those abilities a lot. That's a little annoying. I'm gonna put more points in my three since I need the heal more than the damage right now. Alright, thank god she didn't chase after me. Because she would have killed me. Oh, alright. I didn't die. And now I can actually start working on my boots very, very soon. I wonder how this goes in the late game, because whenever she ults, I can't really do much, you know? Like, my 2 and 3 just don't do enough damage to kill the cats. Full cooldown is a must. Sobek, Sobek gets most of his damage in base damage. His scaling is really bad. So, going full cooldown at least gives me more damage just because base damage is high. Um, another thing we can do is go Polynomicon, but if we go Polynomicon, we have to go high scaling anyways. She's already level 9. She's a 1,000 gold ahead of me. Oh my gosh, she's so fast. I hate fighting best. <laughs> I have quite a bit of sustain now with... Uh, quite a bit of sustain with... Bancrofts. Oh, please don't kill me. Oh my god. Dude. I don't like this. I would rather fight... I shouldn't have banned AMC. Best, that's like the one of the few assassins that do good into Guardians. Because of her leap, she can... She basically has double immunity frames. Because she can leap once to dodge an ability. Leap twice again to dodge it again. And her ultimate kills every single time, pretty much. Look at this mobility. And if I blink over the wall to chase her, like I normally do, she'll just jump back. Oh, there she goes. Why did you do that? Oh, I'm not fast enough. No. Come on. Don't leap over the wall. If I blink, I can't really chase her. All right. I tried blinking. That didn't work out, though. Now I'm in trouble. Great. Dude, how much damage does that deal? Close call, that one. How much damage does that deal? My lord. I'm actually amazed that I got out of there, but still. Ouch, man. For two? Did she hit me with that twice? 715? I need a breastplate of valor. At least I have boots now. That took me so long to get boots. I should have skipped Bancrofts, honestly, once I saw that she was rushing, rushing boots herself. Oh, lord. Dude, that damage! My ult doesn't even kill the cat! Oh, my ultimate does not even kill the cat! This matchup's hopeless. I, I could have sworn the new patch was supposed to be today, the 23rd. But but it's, it's not, because the new item's not in the game, is it? Staff of whatever? No, it's not. I was excited to try it on Sobek, but I guess I can't. I deal no damage. This is frustrating. There's not really much I can do against Basta as Sobek. My ult doesn't even kill the cats right now.
Bancroft was a mistake. She's going to get anti-heal now. That's why I didn't want to go Bracers, because I know Basta always builds Brawlers. But at least at least that would have let me get through the early game, you know? I'm at half health. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I didn't want to waste my blink. I should have blinked. Oh my lord. <sighs> I don't like games like this at all. I do not like games like this. Zobek just doesn't deal enough damage, man. Alright. <laughs> hey, you know what? One gold when you're that far behind? 900 gold? She really should have... I got two levels off of that. I got two levels off of that. That's how much XP I got. Holy moly. The return kill is really OP in duel. I didn't think I would get a chance to get that kill, but she got greedy and stayed too long. Well, now we actually have somewhat of a chance with the return kill. Now I'm only two levels behind. Was I four levels behind before? Yikes. Alright, let's go buy that Breastplate of Valor with our hard-earned gold. She is going to go for Bull Demon pretty soon. However, she does not have wards. Uh, I could go Sunder. Maybe a Horrific? She's saving her Relic. I need Sprint. If she's saving her Relic, the only thing she's saving it for is Horrific. So there's no use in me waiting for her to get Horrific. Might as well just get my Sprint since I need it anyways against her, against her cats. Now that I can actually outrun them with my boots. Why does that deal so much damage? She has increased power right now. Don't want to fight her. That stat gets increased power when you kill her cats. Ooh, I don't want to get hit by that brawlers. Oh, well, I got hit by the brawlers. Oh, fighting Basta is so difficult. I can beat Basta sometimes as Ymir, but that's just because of Ymir's amount of damage. And he can hold you Basta in place. Sobek flings Basta farther away from me with my one. Which is pretty useless. I might as well go, what, Divine Ruin for her Bracer? I don't even know. All I know is she has about as much physical power as I have magical power. I'm three levels behind. This is an F6er, but I'll stay in it. Which health do you have? 1800? It's really frustrating that she can just ult and I die, pretty much. Like, I can counter ult, but my ult takes so long to charge that it doesn't help. Um, if I have my 1-up, she can just leap on me and she keep chasing me, slow me down, and the cats catch up. There's really not much I can do. If only I had more damage. Alright, that could be good. Keep her in Titan. Hopefully she doesn't get her leap again. Holy moly, man. <laughs> I threw her into Titan room and she was able to turn that around. No! Oh my god. Dude, now my stupid minions are... The minions are gonna win the game. <sighs> Even if I hit that, she probably wouldn't be able, been able to get out. I'm gonna have to go like a ring, like Shaman's Ring or something, just for movement speed. But the thing is, I can't get that until after I get my penetration online. 
I might have I might have to skip Obsidian. I don't really have a choice. I'm just so far behind. I'm like two items behind in terms of gold. 3,000 gold behind. 2,500, you know? And she's just going to go for it. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, there's nothing I can do if she just goes for it. Like, I deal zero damage. Most I can do is stall until... Nope. Oh my god, no, they went back to Titan. Uh, I knew this game was over from the start, man. S Sobek does not do good into Bastet. Alright, I'm not banning AMC anymore. I'd much rather fight AMC because AMC at least doesn't have double leap, you know? AMC is a better god, but against Guardians, or against Sobek specifically, Bastet's better. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Hope you... Stick around for next episode tomorrow.